Jumpy jump jump jump. Salem's birthday. Boy, I hope he likes his present. It took me a million hours to mold this old wand into a frame. <laughs> what you doing? <gasps> What's with the cat on the hot tin bed routine? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Check it for dust? Ah. You little sneak. You're trying to find your birthday present. That's right, baby. It's my birthday, and I love it all. The party, the balloons, the cake, the fuss. And most of all, the presents. Because it's all about the presents. Speaking of which, what you got there? Is, uh, <laughs> is that for moi? Yes. No, I mean, maybe? Please give me a hint. No way. Please. Just a tiny little hinty-winty. Whoa! No! No! You'll just have to wait until tonight. That's the last straw, Ross. I'm leaving you. Getting ready for my birthday festivities, I see. <laughs> Here we go, like clockwork. Every year it's a countdown to the Salem birthday hour. All about Salem. Salem, 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 Salem. Salem, Salem. I resent that. Am I so wrong to expect those who care about me to also care about my birthday? We do. We will. Later. But right now, the Young and Relentless Marathon is on. 20 hours of non-stop heartbreak, amnesia, and mistaken identity. I see how I rate. Don't worry, we'll celebrate as soon as young Dr. Vanderscum makes chief of staff or little sissy is out of her coma, whichever comes first. Besides, we got you a really great present. Uh -huh. I just live for presents. Could my present be a pair of fuzzy dice? They go great with that fleet of Model Ts that my good pal Henry once gave me. Henry Ford, that is. Hey! Nice try, smart guy. A fleet of Model Ts? What do you think you're... What is the Stop idea? Stop that! Salem, how could you do that? We will resume our regular programming when I get my question answered. I want to know just how fabulous my present is. Did you arrange to have a city named after me? Oh, that's right. I already have one. <laughs> I'll have you know that I've always gotten terrific birthday presents from my celebrity friends. And I'm talking about people like Amelia, Earhart that is, George Washington, and the famous pirate Jean Le Foot. Keep that in mind. And whatever my present is, just make sure you didn't get it from Cousin Ambrose. What's the matter? You didn't like your hand-knitted pink imitation Angora sweater? It was too small and it had a hood. Oh! <laughs> Don't you just love cheesy do-it-yourself gifts? Oh, good old Cousin Ambrose. It was a sweet <gasps> thought, though. No, I guess. A crummy picture frame? What was I thinking? Salem wants something bigger, better, more expensive. Well, there's nothing in the Nifty Gifties or the LL Bean there done that catalog. Anyway, I don't understand why you can't just give them the picture frame. You work so hard on it. But Salem is used to getting big cost a lot of money presents. People say they like simple little gifts, but they don't. Hey. All I'm getting him is some fresh catnip and a squeezy toy. Cranky old warlock, he'll love that. <laughs> uh, I mean it, Chloe. I have to get him something out there. Exotic. Like what? You're just a kid. You can't afford an extravagant gift. Besides, you know what they say. It's the thought that counts. Grown-ups just say that so they don't have to up our allowances. Hey, guys. Are we getting together later to work on our book reports? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Cool. See ya. What are we doing, Arzon? Time Machine by H.G. Wells. Time Machine, that's it! I got it! That's how I can give Salem the perfect killer gift. 
Wah. Just a little, okay? Like, you're planning to find Salem's birthday present inside his kitty condo? Of course not. What we need from here is his address book. Then all we need is one teeny little thing from the attic. Huh? Come on, man. I gotta break even before the cat gets back. Excuse me? Do you guys know where Salem keeps his address book? <laughs> what are you doing in there anyway? Well... You know, when the cat's away. Okay, we've got the address book, which gives us the names of some of Salem's famous friends. Now all we need to do is find the right spell to get us where we need to go. Whose are these? Zelda's lost a little weight. We don't talk about it. Zelda's box of old spells has to be up here somewhere. Hmm, I've never seen this before. Well, I've never seen you before either. Oh, oh, watch it. <laughs> ah. Yes. Hey, Chloe, I think I found the time travel kit. Oh, my gosh, we found it. We found the spell to travel back in time. <laughs> Huh? We're gonna travel back in time? What's that got to do with getting Salem a really fabulous present? We're gonna travel back in time, and with this video camera, we're gonna get some of Salem's famous friends to wish him a happy birthday. It'll be an amazing, one-of-a-kind video birthday spectacular. Hmm, time travel, huh? Gee, I don't know. Sounds kind of, uh, dangerous. We are not liable in regards to lost luggage, library books, or limbs, yada, yada, yada. <gasps> or misplacement of travelers due to unexpected glitches in time. Yeah, you know, minor stuff like that. In addition, if the caster of the spell is to get home safely, she must have this compass in her possession at the time the spell expires. The length of the spell may vary. What do you say, Chloe? Will you come with me and help me? It's my chance to get Salem the biggest, bestest birthday present ever. I don't know. Come on, please. Think how disappointed he's going to be otherwise. It's this or a picture in a cheap recycled frame. Let's do it. Camera's rolling. Protection of Abeona, with this spell I cast, I ask you to take us to those of Salem's past. Hey, guys. Hilda and Zelda said you were up here. And then I should just... Ah! But wherever it is, we're here. The spell worked. <laughs> uh oh. <gasps> Harvey? What? <clears throat> Sabrina? What happened? Why aren't we still in your attic? Um, well, you see, it's the funniest thing. Run! Run for your lives! <gasps> Look, fellows, fresh prey. Ah! Wow! Look like a terrific present right now. Come on, Chloe. We've got to go for it. I've got to get Salem a big showy present. Besides, look at the first name on the list. Amelia Earhart, the famous female pilot. You know who I am? Yeah. You're like the most famous woman who ever tried to fly around the world. Yeah, true. But the thing I'm probably most famous for by now is getting lost. So what are you kids doing here anyway? Actually, we're here to ask you a favor, and... What kind of islanders are those anyway? Martha's Vineyard. There's never a moment's peace. What's the favor you need? I don't mean to be rude, but they're gaining on us. Make it snappy, okay? I need you to wish an old friend a happy birthday. It's... 
in celebration of a very near and dear old friend's birthday. Go ahead and send a big happy birthday wish to Salem! Salem? Is there a problem? I mean, wasn't Salem like a really good friend of yours? Salem is the reason I got lost and ended up stuck on this stupid island. He told me he had a map that would take me around the world and make me a star. <gasps> but it was a map to the star's homes. Salem, I never want to hear that name again. Really? So I'm guessing that means you're not going to want to send birthday greetings to old Salem? I said I never wanted to hear that name again! <laughs> So much for that dear friend of Salem's. Who's next? Somebody really special. There are two stars by his name in the address book. It's some guy named George. Huh? Warning, spell transporting time travelers now. Time what? Salem, I hate Salem! <laughs> First, a hostile tennis playing islanders. Now I'm getting seasick. This is the worst dream I've ever had. George Washington? Wow! Salem is some every hitter. Good morning, Mr. President. What in the world? Who are you? We're here because we're making this really amazingly fabulous present for your old friend Salem. Salem? He's a friend of yours, right? I mean, you do remember him. <clears throat> My dear, I think of him every time I chew, and every time I end up with a tongue full of splitters. Um, I thought I read somewhere that that thing about you having wooden teeth wasn't really true. Well, don't believe everything you read, young lady. Do you know why my teeth are wooden? I was out by my father's cherry tree. I was sharpening my axe. Salem was practicing the tango with untied shoelaces. He tripped, he slammed into me, my axe slammed into the tree, and it fell on me! You distracted me with all that talk of Salem! Now we're under attack! The British are coming! Oh, please, let it be time to go! Come on, come on, do something! Oh, I think I'm gonna be sick. All right, all right, warning. Spell transporting time travelers now. I hate Salem! Where are we now? Great! The sky has three stars by his name. I'm guessing this must be the ship of one of Salem's best friends, the famous Paris Jean Le Foot. This boat's not rocking. Cool! I hope this works. The spell could wear off any minute now. This could be my last chance to get Salem a really monster gift. 
Oh, hi there, children! I have no idea who you are or why you're dressed in those ridiculous clothes, but welcome to my humble pirate ship, Jean Lafoot at your service. Frothing root beers all around for my new friends. They are obviously magicians of some sort. is getting good. I really need to ask you for a favor. Yes, of course, anything. Whatever you do, don't mention. Whoa, pirates. Would you send a birthday greeting to your old pal Salem? Salem, that's what I was gonna say not to mention. Salem? Why do I keep dreaming about Sabrina's cat? Salem? Because of Salem, my sword privileges were taken from me, and I am reduced to using this. I cannot go into the details. They are too sordid. But all oh, that humiliation! Forced to wear a long flamingo in place of a sword. And it's plastic, no less. Because of Salem, my sword was taken. In its place, I take this. You can't. I just did. <laughs> now we'll never get home, and it's all my fault. I just wanted to get Salem a killer present instead of the cheap lame thing I was going to give him. A present? All this for a present? Silly girl, <laughs> don't you know that with presents, it's the thought <laughs> that counts. I said that. Who cares who said it? All I know is that I want my compass back. Well, I want my sword privileges back. Take these two to the brig. This one is coming with me. If you don't cooperate, I will feed your little playmates to the sharks! <laughs> Okay, I'm ready to wake up now. And when I do, I want to be in my own house, in my own bed, in my Captain Guano Jammies! If you ever want to see those jammies again, Harv, you better save Sabrina and get that compass back. How am I going to do that? Hmm. Ah. With a little help from our friends. Warning, five minutes and counting until the spell wears off. It's a race, and you're losing! But I told you, I can't get your sword privileges back. My magic doesn't work like that. What do you want from me? Uh, Got it! You want the compass? You have to duel for it! On guard! We 
I'm awake, right? Uh, 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 right. But I was asleep, right? Right. Um, you checked out right after you got here. In fact, you still look a little groggy. What do you say I walk you home? <sighs> Guess it's time for Salem celebration. Where is the little princess? I'm right here. Thank you for my present. I love it. I found where you hid it. In the trash. Pretty clever. Actually, I threw it out. I figured there was no way a dinky present that didn't cost a lot of money could ever compete with the amazing stuff you're used to getting. What are you talking about? Presents aren't about the money. This is the best gift anyone has ever given me. Tune in for next month's marathon when we find out what Biff chooses. Will it be that very special surgery he's been wanting? Or will it be a sham marriage to the cold but filthy rich Fifi? Next month! Wow. I've never had a framed photograph with me and someone else. What? Every photo I have is, of, well, just me. How come? Because, darling, it's my world, and you people just live in it. Yeah, baby! Yeah! <laughs>